Hello, my name is Alice Nockenfels. I'm 18 years old from Wellman, Iowa. I was an eight-year member of the Green Go Getters 4-H Club in Iowa County. My 4-H project of excellence has been my Mary's Meals fundraising. I started this project when I was in second grade as a sixth grader. Let me tell you a little bit about my 4-H journey. I joined 4-H when I was in fifth grade and I immediately threw myself into the adventure. I love the family that I have had the privilege to become a part of, whether it was helping set up the State Fair 4-H building or participating in the clothing event at Iowa State University, I always had the opportunity and joy to meet new friends and to personally grow. Before I joined 4-H, it was nearly impossible for me to introduce myself to anyone or have a conversation with someone that I didn't know. I wouldn't even dream of public speaking. Participating in the various communication events, especially the educational presentations, allowed me the opportunity to give speeches that I was passionate about and to receive helpful critique. Through 4-H, I became a leader with skills above and beyond what I could have imagined. Through my time as president and treasurer of my club, I had the opportunity and the privilege to be a leader and the role model for the future leaders of tomorrow. I also gained tremendous leadership skills through my time as an Iowa County Youth Council member. If someone asked me what one of the greatest experiences of my life would be, I would definitely say 4-H. Through 4-H, I have gained valuable life skills in problem solving and goal setting. I can complete any task I set my mind to. I first heard about Mary's Meals when I was 12 years old. I heard the founder, Magnus McFarlane Barrow, speak at a conference that my family and I were attending. A few days after the conference, I was trying to imagine what it would be like to go without a meal for one or two days. For many of the children in third world countries, this is their daily reality. They just simply don't have enough food to eat. I could not imagine that feeling and I knew I needed to do something to help. The concept of Mary's Meals is very simple. Children receive one nutritious daily meal in their place of education. With the motivation of a meal, the children are in school and learning. Because of their education, these children will be able to lift themselves, their families, and their countries out of poverty. I started my Mary's Meals fundraising on the weekend of November 21st and 22nd, 2010. I went to our cluster parishes and asked the congregations for donations. From there, I've talked at schools, optimist clubs, rotary clubs, and I run a Facebook page and blog. In November of 2010, I had the privilege of traveling to Malawi, Africa to see the work of Mary's Meals. It was very powerful to pull up to a school and have 4,000 children swarm to you to greet you. At many of the schools where I funded the feeding programs, the enrollment has almost doubled since Mary's Meals has started feeding there. Through the generosity of many people, I have raised over $252,000 for Mary's Meals. This money has been able to build three kitchens in Malawi, Africa at three different schools and feed over 12,000 children for an entire school year. For $20, Mary's Meals can feed one child one meal a day at school for an entire year. I don't know what better I could do with $20. It has been beautiful to see the families and the children in the schools that have been inspired to start their own Mary's Meals fundraising projects after they have learned about mine. Helping others is my passion. My Mary's Meals fundraising is a perfect example of that. Through the Mary's Meals that these children will receive, their lives have been changed and many saved. Many people have asked me why I've chosen Mary's Meals over other charities. For me, it's simple. While there are charities that are also doing amazing work, Mary's Meals is doing something that's revolutionary. Instead of just helping the immediate need of food, they're also pairing it with education so these children will be equipped to lift themselves, their families, and their countries out of poverty. With this education, these children will be the generation of hope, the generation that will change and end the cycle of poverty.